Lots of news to tell you about today on News OK TV. It's Wednesday, September 12, 2012. I'm Dave Morris. The U.S. ambassador to Libya and three other Americans were killed in an attack on the U.S. consulate. Protesters, angry over a film ridiculing Islam's prophet Muhammad, attacked the consulate. Ambassador Chris Stevens died while he and a group of embassy employees tried to evacuate staff from the building. He was the first U.S. ambassador to be killed in the line of duty since 1979. President Barack Obama ordered increased security for American diplomatic personnel around the world. The Oklahoma County Jail has been awarded national accreditation this month. Accreditation by American Correctional Association is a first for the county jail. The certificate means less liability for lawsuits and another step towards full compliance with U.S. Department of Justice standards. We are saving the taxpayers uh, dollars, whether they're quantified or not, maybe by the lack of filing of lawsuits against the jail because of the way it's being operated. A national ranking of colleges and universities showed mixed results for Oklahoma universities. U.S. News and World Report released their best colleges report for 2013. The report ranks schools nationwide, and the ratings divide schools into categories based on size and other factors. All of Oklahoma's three national universities remained on the same, remained the same or moved in this year's rankings. The University of Oklahoma remained in the same spot, but Oklahoma State moved several slots, as did the University of Tulsa. A cold front is headed for the Sooner State, and the cooler weather could last through the weekend. The front will move into far northwest Oklahoma late this afternoon or early this evening. Scattered showers will form near and north of the front as it heads south tonight and Thursday. Central Oklahoma will see highs in the low 90s on Wednesday with wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour. As you can see, showers and thunderstorms can move into the central parts of the state on Thursday. Highs will dip down into only the mid-70s on Thursday, even cooler on Friday, and those cooler temperatures will linger through the weekend. A Texas company struck a deal to acquire acreages from Chesapeake Energy Group. Energy and Exploration Partners Incorporated offered $125 million for land in East Texas. Chesapeake has spent much of this year trying to sell assets to cover budget shortfalls. The Oklahoman's food dude is always on the lookout for the best food in the metro. And this week he introduces us to an authentic Mexican food restaurant. It's out on Northwest 39th Expressway. Dave Cathy says Better Dia Diaz is among his top 10 favorite places to eat in the Oklahoma City area. The owners of the restaurant moved to Oklahoma from California a few years ago and opened the eatery in 2011, along with a smoothie shop right next door. Well, we pretty much decided to try something different other than California. Mm -hmm. My mom has some family here, so we decided to come visit mm -hmm. and try, try something different, a new restaurant. That's Dave and Juan Diaz. All right, Dave Cathy's also going to check out the fair at the Oklahoma State Fair tomorrow. We'll tell you about some of the new culinary delights available this year, no doubt deep fried, and some of the classic state fair staples as well. Our sports team will be back in the studio tomorrow to talk about the upcoming matchup for Oklahoma State. What do the Cowboys need to be leery of when facing the raging Cajuns of Louisiana Lafayette? And we're just a few short weeks away from the season of spook. Halloween just right around the corner and we will visit with our friends at Party Galaxy to check out this year's most popular costumes for kids and adults. Yes, we're shooting a fashion shoot tomorrow for Halloween costumes. That'll do it for this edition of News OK TV. Again, there was some hard news off the top of this and we'll have updates on all of those stories throughout today on NewsOK.com.